Missouri Valley Conference tournament time for Indiana State, which begins tomorrow night in normal Illinois at 7 Central here at Illinois State. But today, the Sycamores picked up honors from the Valley office, headlined by Jake Means winning MVC Defensive Player of the Year, and pitcher Colin Libertor earned the MVC Newcomer of the Year award. It's a lot. I think it's really cool. I think it says a lot about our whole team and coaches. It's Defense is something that we take pride on everywhere on the field, so to get that honor, it uh, means a lot to me. When I got here, it changed a lot. Uh, Smiley helps us with defense every day, and I've never really taken it this serious before since I got here, but uh, obviously it's paid off, so I think that uh, definitely says a lot about them. Gosh, I, you know, Jake's one of the best defenders I've watched, uh, regardless of here or anywhere I've been. I mean, he's a pro-level defender playing college baseball right now. You know, he played uh, shortstop in junior college and made the transition to third base, you know, here. And, you know, the, the time that he's spent with Coach Smiley and those guys working on all the defensive stuff, I mean, he's really gotten a lot better in his time here, and it's, and it's shown. And uh, there's no question he's, in my opinion, one of the best defenders ever played in our program at Indiana State. It's a great award. I mean, uh, obviously, i got to give a lot of credit to the coaching staff and the guys around me. I mean, I can't get anything done without the help of them. So... Honestly, all the credit goes to them, but a testament to all the work we've put in, uh, all of us as the year's gone on. I mean, we've worked hard. Um, as a pitching staff, we just attack guys, gone after hitters, and um, it's a team game, so we let our defense do a lot of the work for us, and they've been great for us all year. I think in terms of the, the contribution to a, a new guy in your lineup for the season, there's no question he, he meant as much to our team as any newcomer in the league. And there were some good ones. You know, that was a really good category. So for him to win, it says a lot about the year that, that he had. Um, but I think ultimately, you know, it's you, you take the award and those type of things that we're talking about right now. And the guys would much rather have a championship than the award. And that's Colin. I mean, he, he'd he be the first to tell you that. So that's why, in my opinion, he had such a good year. Indiana State opens up with Evansville Wednesday night, a team that the Sycamores took the final two games from in a doubleheader sweep on Easter Sunday. Uh, you know, Evansville, when we played them down there and, and all season, it's been one of the scrappiest clubs in our league, and they've, they've been uh, they've been good all year. Their pitching's been good all year. Uh, the defense has been good all year. So obviously, when you see a team that's pitched it and caught it all year long, you know it's going to come down to who, who manufactures offensively. So I expect a close game. I expect the team that manufactures and plays the best offensively is probably going to win a close game. You know, Paulie's come out every Friday night, and he's competed and battled for us all all year long and he's done a great job for us and I know Witt and I behind us and then the guys in the pen we just want to carry that momentum on so it all starts with him and we got all the confidence in the world in him and we know he's going to do a great job for us tomorrow. It's good that we were on the winning side to end the regular season um, to have some momentum going towards this tournament but everyone goes through adversity it's not just us it's every team but it's how you respond to it so hopefully we can keep the winning streak going in the tournament. For complete coverage of Indiana State Baseball here at the Missouri Valley Conference Baseball Championship stay right here at GoSycamores.com.